George's birthday. Today is George's birthday. It is very early in the morning. <laughs> George, it's too early. Dinosaur. Go back to bed. <laughs> it sounds like someone's up bright and early. Happy birthday, George. George woke me up. You woke everyone up on your birthday, Pepper. That was different. That was my birthday. And today is George's birthday. Uh, happy birthday, George. <laughs> Here's your present, George. Ooh. Dinosaur! <laughs> I knew it would be some sort of dinosaur thingy. <laughs> oh, oh. Squeeze its tummy. <laughs> Too scary! <laughs> <laughs> George, I've made you a birthday card. Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. But in the end, I painted you a... Dinosaur! That's a lovely picture, Pepper. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George, what do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and... <laughs> and now, there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? <laughs> what do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Pepper loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George, why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. This is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> Cuckoo clock. It is early morning. Mummy and Daddy Pig are still asleep. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> what? It's time to get up. It's much too early. Don't you know what time it is, Pepper? No, Daddy. Our clock doesn't work. Oh, dear. Let's see if we can mend it. Ah, 
the old cuckoo clock. Why is it called a cuckoo clock? <coughs> There's a little wooden bird inside called a cuckoo. I've never seen the cuckoo. That's because we stopped winding it a long time ago. The cuckoo got a bit annoying. Oh, can we wind it up again, please? <coughs> All right. Daddy Pig is winding up the cuckoo clock. There. Daddy Pig sets the clock to the right time. It is nearly nine o'clock. Daddy, can we see the cuckoo now? <coughs> You'll see the cuckoo soon. What does she look like, Daddy? Now let me think. She moves her head like this. <laughs> <coughs> and she flaps her wings like this. <laughs> and she says, Ahem. Cuckoo! <laughs> What a noisy little cuckoo you are, George. <laughs> Look, it's going to do something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Silly George, you missed the cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo was really, really brilliant. She went cuckoo and you missed it. <laughs> Never mind, George. You can see Cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Waiting is boring. Come on, George. Let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see Cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. George, come and play! Mr. Dinosaur wants you to play too. <laughs> Dinosaur. George has missed Cuckoo again. <laughs> Never mind, George. Why don't you play in the garden? I'll call you when it's time to see Cuckoo. <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> It is nearly 11 o'clock. Peppa! <laughs> George! Time to see Cuckoo! Quick, George! You can't miss Cuckoo again. George is running faster than he has ever run before. <laughs> George, did you see Cuckoo? Cuckoo! Cuckoo! <laughs> Cuckoo! Peppa and George love playing Cuckoos. It is night time. Peppa and George are very sleepy. Cuckoo. <sighs> Peppa and George are asleep. <laughs> is it morning already? Uh, no. Time to sleep. Cuckoo is not very well. She just needs to sleep, like you and George. Good night. Good night, my little piggies. George, I know how to make Cuckoo better. We'll wind her up like Daddy did. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy are fast asleep. What? what? Mummy, Daddy, we've got something to show you. We've made Cuckoo better. Peppa and her family are going ice skating today. This will be fun. Peppa and George have never been ice skating before. Now, George, you won't be very good at ice skating, so just do what I do. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all be very good. Yes, especially me. <laughs> First, we need some skates. At the ice rink, everyone wears skates. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. We'd like to hire some skates, please. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy skating. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra, Candy Cat, Emily Elephant and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Peppa's friends can ice skate very well. <laughs> Peppa wants to ice skate too. Hello, everyone. Hello, 
Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Is this your first time skating? Yes. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on then. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Pepper. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oopsie daisy. Ho ho. Silly daddy. <laughs> <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before. And he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> Look at me. I'm skating. Pepper is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Pepper. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Pepper how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop! Look out! Whoa! <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes. I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. George can skate beautifully. Wow! Look at George! <laughs> Well done, George. You're fantastic, George. Yes, you did very well, George, for your first lesson. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's skate. Yes! <laughs> Peppa and George love ice skating. Everyone loves ice skating. Mummy and Daddy taught me how to skate, but I taught George. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig's office. Today, as a special treat, Peppa and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy, what do you do at your office all day? Lots of fun things. You'll see. This is the building where Daddy Pig works. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Yes? Hello, it's Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Can I press the button too? <laughs> of course, Pepper. Yes? It's me. Oh, hello, me. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Pepper, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow! Top floor, doors opening. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. Peppa and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? 
We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper, I take a rubber stamp, and I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Pepper likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh. Then I print the shapes out. Wow! <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a go? Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> I like doing Mrs Cat's job. <laughs> Do you want to see my desk now? Yes, please. <laughs> this is Daddy Pig's desk. My job is quite complicated. I take big numbers, transmute them and calculate their load-bearing tangents. Daddy Pig's job sounds very important. Do you use rubber stamps? No. Do you use a computer? No, but I do use colouring pens. Daddy, can we draw with your colouring pens? Good idea. <laughs> Pepper and George love drawing with colouring pens. I'm drawing a house. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Five o'clock already. It is home time. I say, what a splendid picture of a house. And what a fierce dinosaur. George and I have been doing Daddy's job. And they've been doing it very well. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. And I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing Daddy's job the best. <laughs> <laughs> George catches a cold. Today it is raining a little bit. <laughs> Peppa, George, put your rain clothes on. When it rains, Peppa and George must wear their rain clothes. Yuck! George does not like wearing his rain hat. George, you must keep your hat on. Why? Because you must keep dry. Why? Because you might catch a cold. Why? George, do you want to play in the garden? <coughs> then keep your hat on. <coughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> Yuck! George does not want to wear his rain hat. <laughs> Peppa! George! Come inside! The rain's too heavy to play in now. Oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo! George has caught a cold. Achoo! Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. Ah! Ugh, that's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, 
you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr. Brown Bear says so. Hello, where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> Ah! Hmm, George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Pepper's bedtime. George, are you better? George is not better. George, please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <coughs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. Ah, it's so nice and quiet. It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> <laughs> the long grass. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing in the garden. <laughs> oh. The grass has not been cut for a while. It has grown very long. Come on, George! <laughs> George! Where are you? I can't see you. <laughs> George, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Pepper and George cannot see each other. <laughs> Pepper and George love playing in the long grass. Daddy Pig is going to read his newspaper. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Oh, goodness me, Daddy Pig. We've let the garden get a bit out of control. What do you mean, Mummy Pig? The grass. It needs cutting. Oh, I quite like it. It's the wild garden look. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, come and play in the long grass. It's fun. <laughs> OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm, maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. I think this is a job for Betsy. Grandpa Pig is driving his motor mower over to Peppa's house. Grandpa Pig! Peppa Egg! Hello!
Hello, everyone. I hear there's some grass that needs cutting. And it's just a bit too long for my lawnmower. <laughs> Don't worry. Betsy will have it done in no time. Is your lawnmower called Betsy? She certainly is. <laughs> Hello, Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, can we ride on Betsy? Of course you can. Hop aboard. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> we'll have this grass cut in no time. Hold tight. Here we go. Betsy is very good at cutting grass. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> there. Finished. Grandpa, you've missed a bit. Oh, yes. What's this? Oh, the spotty ball. <laughs> thank you for finding our ball, Grandpa. And thank you for cutting the grass. Cutting grass is easy with Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> now we can play with our spotty ball. <laughs> to you, Daddy. The ball bounces very well on the short grass. <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> Papa Egg. <laughs> Catch. <laughs> school bus trip. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going on a school bus trip. <laughs> Children. <laughs> Children, attention please. Let's check that you're all here. Peppa and George. Here. <laughs> Rebecca and Richard Rabbit? Here. Susie Sheep? Here. <laughs> Zoe Zebra? Here. Danny Dog? Here. <laughs> Emily Elephant? Here. <laughs> Pedro Pony? Pedro Pony is not here. <laughs> Sorry we're late. Pedro, you almost missed the school trip. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Never mind, you're just in time. All aboard! Hey. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the bus driver. Full steam ahead. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Children, attention, please. Today, we are going on a trip to the mountains. Hooray! Have you all got your lunch boxes? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. Madam Gazelle, please can we eat our lunch now? Peppa, we'll eat lunch when we arrive in the mountains. Peppa, what have you got in your lunch box? A red apple. I've got a green apple. <laughs> Swap. OK. <laughs> Peppa, Susie. What are you doing? Susie told me to open my lunchbox. Peppa told me to swap our apples. Oh, that's fine. But please, save some food for the picnic. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> the bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. The mountain road is very steep. Come on, bus. You can make it. Come on, bus. Peppa and her friends are at the top of the mountain. Look at the view. Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains. Like this. Yodle! Yodle! Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Peppa loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Peppa. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. Ah! 
Oh. Hello, Mrs Duck. Would you like some bread? The ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. Goodness me. <laughs> home time. All aboard. It's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. <laughs> Let's all sing a song. Can we have the Bing Bong song, please? Oh, oh. Please, please, Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the Bing Bong, bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing our tune and we're singing a song with a Bing and a Bong and a Bing. Bong, Bing, Bong, Bing, Bong, Bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, 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 bing,